everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a future partner reading. This is an 18 plus reading. So if you are watching this video and you're not 18 plus, please click off this video as this is about intimate details and it's all about sex, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna look at your sex life. We're gonna look at the really intimate, really deep desires. I'm very excited. My inner Scorpio sun is a full on <laughs> preaching at this reading. So today we've got four groups. I'm also gonna be putting some crystals on the cards. So we have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. And if you'd like to choose now, I'm also going to be putting the crystals on now. So this is your reading guys. We have group number one with the peacock or group number two with the amethyst, group number three with the apophyllite and group number four with the rose quartz heart. So let's get started, let's get freaky, let's get it on, okay? <laughs> let's get started guys. So starting off with group number one. Hello my lovely group number one with the lovely peacock or let's get started in this freaky reading. Um, I've never done a reading like this before so I'm very excited. We have the peacock or I'm so excited. So we're gonna start off with the uh, sexual magic tarot and this is what we're gonna be using my little easels for. So let's do that. So the first one we have is the Empress. Oh my Lord, look at that. That is so stunning. Oh my God, what a gorgeous card. Okay, next one is we have the world. Wow, you guys have a very intense reading, which is beautiful. We then have judgment. Okay, so you guys have extremely intense energies. Let's just put that out there to start off with. So we then have the, oh my God, we have temperance. So that goes with, well, that goes with everything really. We have the devil and we have the hermit. So we have all major arcana here. Wow, that is amazing. And the, out of the astrology cards, we have Pluto transformation. And then we have eighth house intimacy. Well, obviously this is about sex, contracts, erotic capital, Kundalini energy, I mean, yeah the spirit is fully present in this reading today guys so for you guys i really really feel like this your future partner and you are going to have a very very strong intimate bond okay you guys are going to be very very sexual together i feel like he's basically if it's a male female relationship it, the masculine is going to proper be so like in awe at your energy i feel like it's just so amazing if you're a feminine watching this if you're a female wanting a male i feel like this this person coming in is going to be so attracted to you and it's going to be absolutely amazing they're going to really really adore you everything that you've wanted in a relationship is coming for you everything that you want and an intense sex level i feel like for you guys there's going to be so much respect in this relationship as well especially with sex it's going to be so respectful and gorgeous and with this empress energy this is all about you feeling really really strong and confident and just like a boss ass bitch and you're gonna be like yes this this reading is just i haven't got any more great things to say about it like everything that is in this reading is exactly what you want like i feel like if you have never had a relationship before or this is a relationship that you've always wanted and you have you your relationship is very much dominated by sex and very much dominated by physical touch this this is amazing and even if it isn't even if your relationship isn't as much like about physical touch and things like that that doesn't mean that this isn't going to be a great um relationship i just feel like for you guys who've really really wanted a relationship it's very mature very sexual it's just amazing the fact we've got judgment is literally like you waited long enough you're going to freaking get it and <laughs> literally and with the world we have like a massive start to a new like I can just feel like a birth and maybe you guys are gonna have oh yeah because you're the empress as well yeah I'm feeling like a birth so for a lot of you guys you could be having bebes with this person and for some of you guys can get the number five so for a lot of you guys you could be having like five bebes if that's what you want okay so we also have Pluto transformation with intimacy and as I said amazing completely like obsessed with each other in a good way in a healthy way in a loyal way like it's going to be so intense this devil is like yes bitch she he is properly just looking at her in awe and he's like damn this woman is so freaking sexy and i love how we've got all the different symbols here we've got like the ram we've got the boar we've got a fish and a dove so it's like everything it's almost like all the if you've gone through quite a few different people in your life or people who haven't really suited you 
and you're basically going to be going towards somebody who really really suits you and is very very attractive to you and this woman is like guarding this massive cobra and she's just like pure sexual majesty like <laughs> wow this woman is so 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 amazing and for a lot of you guys i'm actually seeing an image of and i did repost a picture of this recently it was a picture of a like a, um, a vibrator and it's like a really long wand and i'm seeing almost like this woman is like holding one of those you know the ones with the like the the circular tip and it's like a very long one i'm like seeing like the woman like holding that and being like yes bitch like fully in charge of her own power like not needing a man and it was as soon as you come into this energy of like nope don't need anyone bitch i can just be i can just pleasure myself it's totally fine then boom this starts and the new relationship comes in and then both of you are coming together i love how we've got just the woman on her own and then as soon as the world comes in and there's a massive shift, both of the, cu the couple are together. And then there's also a child here. So it does feel like the like three stages of the relationship. And I am getting the number three as well. So for some of you guys, you could be in a relationship with this person for three years and then you have children or then you have marriage or have marriage and then you get married, that sort of thing. So the fact that we have temperance, as I say, it can be a very balanced relationship, can be very, very emotional. And oh, it's just so stunning. I just... I just love it. And this hermit is making me feel like you guys are gonna feel really safe and really, really comfortable. This is also giving me uh, Aquarius. We've got Aquarius, Capricorn and Virgo here. Um, we've also got the energy of Scorpio and I'm feeling Taurus as well, just for you guys, the extra clarity. And that fish is making me think of Pisces. So let's see what we have from the um, Astro Dice and let's see what we have in terms of this relationship. Okay guys, so we have the sixth house Scorpio in the south node. So when Scorpio is in the south node, it basically represents a need to get in touch with your own self-worth, your own values and awareness of your comfort zones and what doesn't feel good and relying on your own talents. And basically the south node is also a longing for close bonding and mutual empowerment with another person. So that pretty much explains what this is all about. And I love the fact that we also have the sixth house in Scorpio, which is all about not being want to be chained to a desk and not wanting to be um, not wanting to be in a nine to five job and being very creative. So for you guys, this relationship is going to be extremely creative. You guys are going to be really in a creative element in terms of your your life, in terms of your life together. So maybe you have a creative job. You are, the other person has a creative job and you come together and you make beautiful, amazing sex and beautiful amazing like amazing job together um i also feel like for some of you guys sorry i'm just getting my charms out here um i feel like for you guys it's really really important for you to be creative in your sex life as well that's just extremely important it's important anyway but i feel like it's extra important for this group so i'm gonna have, have my little dish and we're going to see what charms come out Know what that is there there we go okay so we have the marble this represents the world guys so i really do feel like if you guys the this is like the world this is like a whole new relationship for you guys so <clears throat> we then have saturday so you guys could spend a lot of time together on a saturday wow we have two eiffel towers so both of you guys are going to extremely love traveling and probably going to have sex in so many different countries we have the number three so keep that in mind guys could be uh three days three weeks three months until you meet this person um it could mean that then that, like look out for the number three as well it could be yours or this person's um life path number and we also have the elephant which is also about travel you guys are going to travel so much and you're probably going to travel the world because this just literally moved right onto the eiffel towers and we also have the butterfly which is all about transformation and scorpio is all about transformation this this group is so connected i can't even believe that like you guys are so spiritual i feel like there's such a spiritual connection here and so much kundalini yoga i'm getting like tank tantric energy as well so i feel like for you guys you're going to be extremely like emotionally and spiritually connected to this person you're probably going to have like um tantric sex with them as well so I really hope you like this reading. I really enjoyed doing this for you guys. And if you would like a private reading, I can do a more in-depth reading like this for you in a private reading as well. So if you would like that, then please let me know down below. You don't have to, but if you'd like to, let me know down below. All of the information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.
Hello group number two, let's get started with your reading. Let's see about your uh, sex life with your future partner. We have the Amethyst. So for you guys, this is all about uh, the crown chakra, very spiritual energy, very psychic <laughs> and very connected. So let's have a look at the sexual magic tarot. So for you guys, you've got four cards. So I'm just gonna put one of these down here. So let's see, have a look at the first one. Oh my God, the sun. Oh, this is such an amazing reading. Group one was so positive as well. This, this actually makes me feel really, really hot and warm. So the moon, oh my God, the sun and the moon together. That is so good, I love that. We have the stars. So we have, this is the star. And we have the five of pentacles. A lot of you guys have the major arcana in your, in your group. So that's really, really amazing, I love that. So let's have a look at the uh, tarot. We have the other tarot. So we have judgment, we have the magician, King of Swords, and we also have the Hierophant. Wow, you guys have got so much Major Arcana. This is insane. Wow. And let's have a look at the astrology. We have Taurus and Fifth House of Passion. I love that. So this is gonna be an extremely sensual relationship. Everything that you've been waiting for is this relationship, okay? This is gonna be such a deep relationship. And for some of you guys, if you've ever wanted to have like, like a threesome or like a foursome, you know, there is that in here okay i really feel like for you guys you could be having sex with like with other couples or like inviting somebody else in the bedroom or you know you could have had quite a crazy sex life before you get with this person um and the other person could have done but also you guys are extremely loyal so if you don't if you guys are not into that or you don't want that you're very and if you are a scorpio as well i do feel like you will be very loyal to your partner and especially taurus because they're, they're fixed signs as well um, so I do feel like obviously you don't have to be that sign to be loyal just letting you know um, but you guys are going to be very very experimental in your relationship and I feel like for a lot of you guys you're going to be trying out things that you have never done before and it's going to be as I say a very very spiritual relationship I feel like the person you're going to be with especially if you are a female looking for a male this person is going to be older than you and it's going to be something that's going to bring you so much warmth and you're most likely going to be traveling to like really hot countries doing some dirty things in some really unusual places but it's going to be so amazing and you're going to love it and you're going to be so happy i feel like your your relationship's going to be so so you're going to make you're going to feel so much happier i'm getting the number 27 so either you're going to be 27 you meet this person or your person's going to be 27 okay so that's obviously for some of you who are obviously all different ages watching this so we have the five of pentacles as well. So for you guys, you may feel like, for some of you, this is a very specific reading. For some of you guys, you may not be a very sexual person or very sexually open. And this person's gonna kind of open you up to that. Or you may have felt like possibly you're a religious or you had some very intense views about sex and the way you viewed it, or maybe your parents viewed it in a way and you couldn't possibly were able to do it. And you weren't able to kind of experiment with yourself or with anyone else. And now you kind of are letting that go. I feel like for a lot of you, it may take a little while before you get comfortable with this person, especially in the bedroom, maybe because you haven't had sex for a long time, or you may have kind of an insecurity around it and that's gonna change, okay? And you're gonna feel so much more comfortable. This person could be an air sign, it could be a fire sign, we've got water here, we've got air, you know, it pretty much could be any. Specifically, we've got Leo, uh, Cancerian, Scorpio, Aquarius. And then we've got any of the air signs here as well. So with the Judgment and the Hierophant, both of these cards together are extremely beautiful cards. Like they're basically saying that you've waited long enough and you're gonna get this intense, gorgeous, yummy, sexy relationship. And with the Magician, it's basically like you can manifest this relationship. Um, basically you are gonna, sorry, you are gonna manifest this relationship and you can make it whatever you want. So if you want a, a relationship in a, a person in a certain way write that down and manifest it guys you are going to get it and the magician is basically saying that i know the universe is like i know you want this person i know you want someone you are going to have it okay guys you are going to have it so with the moon as i say it's going to be a very deep relationship i love the fact that we have this scorpion coming out because it's basically like he's trying to find that pearl he's trying to find that thing that's kind of out of his reach a little bit and he's having to come out of his comfort zone so some for a lot of you guys you could actually as i say have to come out of your comfort zone to meet this person or have to come out of your comfort zone in terms of actually being intimate with this person and maybe you guys have body issues as well so if you do have that then i feel like you're going to be extremely comfortable with your person and you're gonna be like, wow, this is like the most one of like one of the most amazing relationships that I've ever had. With a Taurus, very, very loyal, very steady, serious, patient relationship. 
So for a lot of you guys, you've waited a long, long time and you're definitely gonna get it. And as I say, it's gonna be very fun, very passionate. And you're gonna have a lot of laughter as well. It's gonna be really, really funny. For some of you guys, if this is your first time with a, with someone and you are and you haven't ever had sex before, I do feel like it's just gonna be really funny because sometimes your first time can be really funny because it can be very awkward. Um, but I feel like you're just gonna have like so much fun. You're not even gonna think about it, okay? And it's not even gonna be a big deal. So let's have a look and see about this person and see what's going on in this relationship. Okay, the 10th house, we have Jupiter, and then we also have Libra. So what I find so funny is that the 10th house in Libra is such a serious, it's like a serious placement. And this relationship felt really, really serious and loyal. And when I say serious, I mean, it's like you literally just want to have that one person. You don't want to kind of be with anyone else. You may want to kind of be with a partner and have another couple but like it's like you're so loyal to each other it's unreal and libra is a sign that achieves most success through relationships with others in personal relationships and people with this in their 10th house look for a perfect soulmate and they won't settle down until they found like that the one you know so <laughs> this is just amazing i love when everything just kind of comes together it's just so gorgeous and especially with jupiter that's a very very expansive energy so you guys are going to get a very very like a big bold relationship it's going to be something you've never had before so let's have a look at your charm we're going to see what we've got let's have a look at this relationship a little bit more we have three and we have two which is five and it's funny because we've got the fifth house here so two three and two on their own could be a number for you to look out for or a number that you have been looking out for or the number five we then have friday so you guys could be getting freaky on a friday or freaky friday um and then we got the sorry guys i'm gonna move my hand so we have the elephant we have the eiffel tower which both mean travel so you guys are going to be from different places um you could be long distance travel but can also be one of you could be more kind of into travel than the other but both of you really want to travel i feel like one of you is more experienced in travel because we have like a tall like a bigger eiffel tower than a smaller one um i feel like one of you is going to be more experienced in sex as well so that's going to be amazing one of you is going to almost going to be like a teacher to the other we have the tortoise or turtle. So I do feel like it's gonna be a very, very intense watery relationship, which is great. Um, you may have sex to music, but also music is gonna be like a really passionate thing for both of you. We have the dolphin, a very, very spiritual relationship. We have the paw prints. So for you guys, you're both gonna leave a mark on each other and maybe literally you might scratch each other. You might, you know, smack each other in the face. I don't know, <laughs> whatever you guys wanna do that you feel is like, kinky if you go freaking do it because it's amazing obviously safely and <laughs> um, we also have the blue rose so i feel like for you guys everything's going to unravel really intensely and you both are going to find a very calm connection with each other and one of you i feel like is going to be male we've got a definite male and female because i feel like this always reminds me of the female where not so not that it's unraveled i mean like the color and blue for male and then we also have, obviously it doesn't have to be a male female relationship guys, just putting that out there can be completely anybody, okay? So we have the hand, which is spiritual. We have a very spiritual relationship. Christmas time could be something that's very, very kind of significant for you guys in some way. We have the star, which is obviously you have the star here as well. So a, a divinely guided relationship, both of you guys are gonna be divinely guided to each other. So you don't have to worry about the timing. We have the moth or it could be a butterfly, so transformation. The heart this is a very small heart so i feel like for some of you guys you could be quite closed off when you meet this person and then you kind of come into contact and are more comfortable with this person after a little while so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it i had a really fun time doing this reading i can't wait to do more of these because it's just so fun to talk about sex so openly with you guys and i just freaking love it because it's just so nice to talk about this sort of stuff so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it um if you'd like a private reading it doesn't have to be like this but if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading so we have the gorgeous apophyllite here which is so so spiritual very very connected with your third eye so very very spiritual relationship and let's get started in this reading i'm so excited so let's start off with the sexual magic tarot we have death oh lovely very intense we have the hanged man and we also have the king of cups so so interesting literally every single group has got major arcana it's just like you guys just wow you guys are going to manifest such sexy relationships i can't can't even imagine so we got the four of cups 
Page of Swords. Queen of Cups. Oh my God. <laughs> We've got the Queen and the King of Cups. Guys, these readings are freaking amazing. Knight of Swords. And yes, the Seven of Swords in reverse. That's right, bitch. Get in reverse. <laughs> Sounds so dodgy when I say that. Get in reverse. <laughs> okay, we have Sextile, Opportunity. And we have Third House, Perception. So starting off with these tarot here, I really feel the need to just kind of skim over these ones first. So with the death card and the hangman, for a lot of you guys, this is going to be ultimate transformation before you get into a relationship. Okay, for a lot of you guys, you think, I don't need a relationship. I don't need anyone. But you guys are just going to get into a relationship and it's going to be amazing. For a lot of you guys, you could be a Scorpio watching this as well. You could also be a water sign, specifically Cancerian, but also Pisces or Scorpio. Um, but you could be getting with a Pisces, Cancerian or Scorpio also. This person is quite shy or they're very closed off in terms of how they express themselves. So they're not closed off, like private. They're very private. So you might not know that they're very kinky, okay? You might not know that when you first meet them. You're like, oh, this person, they're so gentle, they're so innocent. No. <laughs> no, they are not. They are very, very kinky, very, very sexual. And you guys will most likely be like having sex outside. You're going to have a really spiritual relationship. You're probably going to sage your room before you have sex. Like, you know, it's going to be such like a spiritual experience. And for a lot of you guys, it's going to be a sex like you've never had before. It's going to be such intense sex, especially if it's with a Scorpio. Not like, you know, bigging myself up or anything because I'm a Scorpio son. But not bigging myself up or anything. But I know that a lot of people ha like having sex with Scorpio. It's just, <laughs> you know, guys they're very very sexual they're very intense they're very deep they're very emotionally inclined they're just very very raw and they just like things that are kinky like being tied up you know all that jazz so i do feel like obviously not every scorpio i'm just talking just casually with that star sign um a lot of you guys you're going to be like tied up you're going to be very almost like praised by your person and the masculine in the relationship is going to be so like in charge of you in terms of like a really sexy way. It isn't going to be like dominating. Well, unless you like that, um, it's going to be like my precious, <laughs> you, know, do you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So for a lot of you guys, as I said, very private. So first of all, you may not think this is the right person. Okay. Just to put that out there, you may not think this is the right person, but then you get to know this person. You have such deep conversation and you probably do like sexting and that sort of thing. And for a lot of you guys, it could be a long, I'm getting a long time partner and I'm getting, it could be that you're quite far away from each other. <clears throat> you're quite far away from each other, but it can also mean that you guys have also waited a really long time for this person, okay? So we've got the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups here. So amazing, gorgeous, stunning, deep, emotionally mature relationship. Like I am so, like this is just amazing, guys. I can't, e I literally can't even, I can't. <laughs> okay, so when you get into this relationship, I feel like somebody might hit you up from your past that could be a air sign or somebody might, you know, you know that 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 thing when you get into a relationship and, or you, you, you're you really happy and then your ex hits you up or like somebody from your past is like, oh hi, just because you, basically they can sense on a spiritual level, they can sense that you're much happier and you've moved on, that sort of thing. So it could be that, but it doesn't have to be guys. It could just mean that your communication is really good and both you guys are extremely good communicators, okay? And as I said, when I say they're quite private, it doesn't mean they're not a good communicator. It could just mean that first of all, the first impression might not be the right one, you know? In terms of the first impression, it could be like, well, this person's really private and distant and then as soon as you get to know them and you get comfortable with them, boom. They're like so comfortable with you, you're comfortable with them, boom. So this is gonna be an extremely amazing opportunity for you guys. It's gonna be um, a relationship that you guys are gonna be have, as I say, really deep communication, like dirty talk is gonna be like your number one thing, whispering in your ear, all that talk, all that sort of stuff. And we also have, oh, and <laughs> the third house is about speech, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my God. So you guys could meet on social media, you guys could be on social media in terms of your work, your, like, your life could be on social media, you know. You could um, have a job that involves social media or a hobby. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're very sociable. And in terms of where you meet them, you could meet them in a surrounding where there's a lot of people as well. And for some of you guys, you could be photographers, you could like really have like a strong Instagram game. I'm sorry to say that, it sounds really cheesy when I say that. I don't normally say that sort of thing, but you guys could have like a very 
nice Instagram, you could like street photography, that sort of thing. And it could be something to do with this. They could also want to photograph you like naked, just with shoes on, you know, <laughs> with no clothes, with just shoes on. Um, but yeah, I feel like for you guys, it's going to be such a gorgeous relationship. So let's have a look and have a look with the Astro Dice and see what sort of relationship we have. We have Venus, we have Virgo, we have the fifth house. So fifth house is all about self-expression, creativity. And the fact that it's in Virgo, for you guys, as I say, I do feel like it's going to be a very creative relationship very very expressive and also with venus in virgo this is all about you guys are going to be extremely dedicated to each other okay virgos are very very dedicated to their partner and they'll do whatever they can to please their partner so i do feel like for a lot of you guys you're good both can be very very like tempted by each other very sexual relationship virgos are very very sexual as well so i do feel like obviously not not everyone but a lot of them very very sexual so for a lot of you guys if this is a scorpio and virgo connection oh my god the intensity is going to be amazing and communication is going to be really really good also okay so let's have a look at your charms and let's see more about this relationship and this person okay well so we have the marble which is the world so for you guys it's going to be a worldly relationship in terms of as i say you could meet each other online you could be wanting to travel a lot we also have the rainbow so it's going to be really really beautiful it's going to be so happy and and calm we then have the turtle or tortoise so this is going to be a water sign especially involved in this relationship or it's going to be very very emotional we have music oh so we have music so it's going to be very music is just going to be very important in your life and you're both going to come together like this like very very comfortable it's like when two instruments come together and they sound beautiful like together in harmony and we have the elephant and the Eiffel Tower both about travel this always reminds me of Thailand and obviously the Eiffel Tower is about France so that could be significant we then have the key so you're both going to unlock this relationship and it's both you're gonna i feel like for some of you guys but i mean like both of you guys are, are quite shy i feel like and it's gonna be, basically gonna unlock your um your confidence in sex and also just in the connection it's gonna be very unraveling so you guys could use a lot of ribbon a lot of like tying up that sort of thing but also you guys are gonna unravel a lot about each other that you never really knew about yourself as well so for a lot of you guys, we've got the anchor, very strong, solid foundation. We have the hand, which is very spiritual, the coin. So basically, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this person could have a lot of money, or you could have a lot of money when you meet this person, or both of you have a lot of money, and you like to travel with that money. And also, this kind of reminds me of the fact that it, it feels very wealthy. You feel wealthy when you're with this person. We have the feather, which is, look out for feathers, guys, because that's gonna be a very strong message this person is around you or coming in your life. And we also have made with a smile and we also have a little sun. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this, this relationship is going to make you feel very, very happy and very content. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to um, subscribe if you haven't already. A thumbs up, comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you liked it. If you'd like a private reading with me, all my information is down below. It doesn't have to be a reading like this. It can be any of the readings that I have uh, linked down below. Let me know on Instagram or email if you'd like reading and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, I've written before with the Rose Quartz Heart. Let's get started with your reading. So I do feel like for you guys, you may be the most mildest group. I feel like because this feels more romantic and less sexual, but we will, we will see. Okay, we will see. Okay, I'm just feeding off of the Rose Quartz. So we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. And then we also have the queen of wands beautiful okay so maybe the feminine in a relationship is going to be the most sexual but we will we will see we will see guys okay so from the tarot from the other tarot we have the five of wands the moon the chariot is it the reverse nope it is upright and then we also have the five of pentacles from the astrology we have uranus revolution square challenge gemini and 11th house the edge so for a lot of you guys, I definitely am going to say you are the most mildest group, okay? So if you don't feel like you want a more kind of romantic relationship, you want more of like a sexual one or both, you know, then maybe this isn't the right group for you. But I feel like for you guys, you are, I think, the mildest out of the, the four groups, okay? And not to say that's nothing bad, okay? I'm not scrutinizing or anything like that, guys, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are more of, I'm getting more of like a fairy lighter energy from this group. So a lot of you guys, I feel like you are the less intense group out of all of them, which doesn't, which doesn't, that's not a bad thing, okay? You're kind of the Disney 
group out of all of them. <laughs> so I feel like the three groups were like Fifty Shades and this is more Disney, you know? And not to say that's bad, okay guys, I really don't wanna scrutinize you guys. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you are quite um, private in terms of your love life. You like things more slower, more delicate, and you are very much invested in both of each other, very, very loyal. This person's gonna be extremely loyal towards you and he's gonna always like to watch you undress as well. Um, this person is also going to be just total in admiration over you. Like, I feel it's going to be so gorgeous, so sexy. And in terms of this relationship, I feel like for, for a lot of you guys, you may actually manifest this person when you're going through a very intense transformation. And I feel like it's going to be like a massive shock to you. Like, oh, I didn't think I'd like be in a relationship, but wow, okay, yay. Um, for a lot of you guys, you could be out in the cold. You could have been messed around by somebody. And therefore, this person's going to come in and is going to help you with this situation, okay? This group obviously is very specific, so if you don't feel like this is resonating with you, then maybe it's not your right group, please choose another group, or you know, this isn't the video for you, but if this is resonating, then okay, let's carry on. So we have Uranus, Revolution, and Square. So this relationship, for some reason, is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Why is it gonna be a bit of a challenge? I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's you may have a little bit of unresolved trauma, and you may be resolving it when you're with this person. You may have a little bit of mental health issues, there may be something here that makes you feel scared. And it may be because it's your first relationship. It may be something that's like, oh my God, this is overwhelming. But it's almost like a challenge because it's going to be an enjoyable challenge. You know, it's going to be something that is, I don't feel like it's going to be the most easiest relationship to get into for you guys. I feel like it could be a little bit two way. You know, it could be like your friends first and then it becomes a relationship. And therefore it's a little bit of a challenge you guys because you're like oh i don't want to lose this person as a friend but actually you get a friend and you get a partner as well because you become together first as friends and then you are in a relationship for a lot of you guys you could both be interested in space and astrology or astronomy that sort of thing and i feel like for you guys you could actually meet this person at a festival at um literally anywhere there's people which is pretty much everywhere um so school university in a group in a in a friendship group as a friend or a fruit a friend for a party that sort of thing where well, it's going to be a lot of communication that's where you want to meet this person okay so in terms of your sex life i feel like it's going to be very as i say very kind of calm very slow you guys are, i do definitely feel i'm getting a massive massive earth energy from this group um you guys are gonna be so sexual i feel like you are if you are the feminine in this in this uh, group in this sorry in this partnership I feel like you're going to teach this person how you want to be treated which is going to be absolutely amazing very stable I feel like you're going to help this person to understand what it's like to to be you you know I don't know what that means but you know th this is what they're telling me um we have the candles here as well so I feel like candles you're going to be like dripping wax on each other you know that kind of thing you're going to like anything romantic anything slow anything kind of like I'm hearing like classical music or like jazz cafe music and you're just kind of like chilling and you guys are not the sort of people to spread I'm hearing spread your love around so I feel like for a lot of you guys you are very kind of calm you're the sort of relationship that is very kind of cute and, and yummy and like fluffy but in a really good way guys fluffy is not a bad thing fluffy is fucking cute okay um so with the ace of pentacles this is probably going to be a relationship you may meet this person at work and you might oh you might also may not be allowed to have this relationship maybe that's why you haven't been so private about it because you may meet them at work and especially if you are in a country like america i know a lot i'm, I'm from england and it's kind of doesn't really matter about being in a relationship at work i mean it's not really like you know it's frowned upon but it's not like super a massive deal but for a lot of you guys you may be in a relationship and you may have to hide it for a while this person may also be like your supervisor or a manager and then it's definitely a little bit taboo you know um but i feel like for, for you guys you could be like tempting your person and you could be like really sexual and tempting them be like oh look at my leg oh look at my booty oh look at my boobs and then he's like oh my god <laughs> you know and you're just like in the office <laughs> it's gonna turn into like his office porno or something i don't know but yeah it just feels like you guys are just gonna be so cute and like i'm getting the word pda like constantly so personal displays of affection could be something that you like or something that you don't like you know and this person's gonna make you feel like everything you've gone through has been worth it, you know? And it's gonna be, oh, I just love this group. It's just so cute. Like I'm getting like, I'm literally getting the image of two teddy bears and they're in a relationship. That's why I feel like this group is very romantic, very like by the fire, cozy in like a cabin. And not to say all the other groups weren't like that. Cause you know, every group, can, every um, 
relationship is romantic in its own way, you know. And not to say that all the other groups weren't going to have the rom- romance, but yours is mainly romance-based, which I think is so lovely. I'm getting Pisces, I'm getting Libra, I'm getting Virgo from this group, uh, any sort of air, um, air uh, fire, and uh, also water, so pretty much any group, any, sorry, any sign. So let's have a look at your person in a bit more detail in terms of the astro dice, and let's see what we have. So we have the third house, Saturn, we also have Aquarius. So Saturn in the third house. Basically with Saturn in Aquarius, this is all about being reserved in your actions, um, even though your thoughts are still considered to be unconventional. So for a lot of you guys, you could be quite, as I say, reserved. That's definitely what I'm feeling. Very spiritual, very um, mental, like both you're both very, um, men- like mental clarity. A lot of you guys, like your communication is gonna be really good. And Geminis are very good at communicating. So definitely feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be very good communicators. And with Aquarius in the third house, for you guys, it's all about kind of communities and friendships and organizing things. So as I say, sociability, surroundings, dating, like research, circulation, social media speech. So as I say, you guys could easily meet in some sort of group setting or through through friends, or you could actually be like, it could actually be someone from your childhood as well. I definitely feel that. So let's have a look and see about your charms. So let's move these out of the way. Okay, and let's see what charms you have. Okay, beautiful. So a lot of you guys have got the world, which is so interesting. This is this uh, marble here. So we have the day of Tuesday. So Tuesday could be your sexy day. Um, I don't know what that means. Whatever that means to you, like having sex on that day or when you most meet on that day. Uh, we have the cat so you're going to be very have a very feminine energy in this relationship you're going to be very praised you're going to be like an empress we have six and five so it could be your numbers look out for those numbers we have the eiffel tower which means travel could also be france as well could be significant we have two butterflies we have a larger one and we have a smaller one this sometimes reminds me of a moth so if one of you guys could be more private than the other also both of you guys have been through transformations but one of you has been through much more bigger transformation could be them or could be you but I feel like one of you is teaching the other how to possibly things that you like in sex could be things in how you basically want the relationship to go in terms of like what you've learned I feel like you're going to be a great teacher the person could also be teaching you about life and about sex and about relationships that sort of thing we have the rainbow which is a really happy relationship we have the hand which is spirituality the music night which is all about music and then we also have the key. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you can have a very, like both you guys are gonna mesh really, really well. Um, with the music note, it also means like two instruments coming together and it's like a gorgeous symphony sort of thing. And then we also have the key. So a lot of you guys are gonna unlock a really gorgeous kind of, like an, in this relationship, it's, one of you is gonna unlock kind of the potential. Both of you, actually, both of you are gonna unlock each other, you know, both of you are gonna not expect this relationship and it's just gonna be so amazing. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. You can get a reading like this or you can get a different reading. All the information is down below. You can Instagram message me or email me and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love, bye.